<clears throat> Hello, welcome back to BS Live. Okay, today I will be demonstrating something that's quite interesting. It's a it's a real time connection from my iPad Pro. It's actually wireless directly into Blender. So I'm using this app called uh, FaceCap app. It's been around for more than a year actually. Um, last year you might have seen a demonstration of the the baby and the face motion capture um, at SIGGRAPH and I believe this is uh, yeah today we have blended 2.80 and now we can perform this real-time um, OSC transfer of data into Blender so occasionally you might see this uh, kind of lag but it's probably because of my Huawei uh, Wi-Fi modem but other than that it's actually really really real time and um, I'm actually recording on the MacBook right now so the the OSC data is transferring um, like over 51 blend shapes and then also the position of my head and also the eye rotations um, so this is actually possible because uh, thanks to the add OSC add-on by JP that's actually been upgraded for Blender 2.8. So I get an early access. Uh, JP, uh, this is version 0 0.17, still work in progress. And yeah, this is the head. This is the default head that's provided by um, Face Face Cap app, Beneflack. I forget his name, but uh, yeah this is the head normally you record your face if you are using your iPhone or iPad Pro and you record your face and sound and video directly on on the iPhone but this one is directly into blender so you can do quite neat thing like um, for example if I say like create a cube just pretend this is like a virtual characters and we're gonna create a, a cube there you go that's a cube and everything is real time. If I wanna, um, this is a kind of interesting, right? Because imagine you're kind of a virtual character, and in the future, and you are kind of explaining about 3D. You can you can do this in real time, and then you can tell them, okay, if you wanna um, edit a cube, you hit a tab. Um, let me actually turn on. Um, yeah, turn on the outline and everything. Um, select a cube. Um, let me. If I'm selecting the cube, oh, actually, I'm probably in the wrong tool. So N and T. That's the N property panel, and that's the T. I want to select the cube. Now the cube is selected. Um, we can jump into edit mode by hitting tab, and then we can select either vertices or face or edges simply by tapping one two three I'm selecting the face now I'm scaling it uh, using hotkey S now you can see I'm just pretending like this is like a character explaining to the student um, how to work in inside blender or inside like a like a virtual 3d world and it's actually really really immersive I don't know it's just like a quick test but I want to explain, um, okay, I want to explain the whole thing. So basically, once you install the add-on, add OSC, you can, you can kind of um, plug um, the signal into Blender using this tab. So there's a new tab called MIDI OSC. And this is the address uh, that uh, my computer is listening to, my MacBook Pro. This can be different depending on the setup. And then there's a route for the all the OSC signal. So yeah, the, the one that's the most complicated is actually the blend shape of this head. This head has 51 blend shapes and that's actually updated in real time. Um, yeah, all like including it's a browse, there's the browse animations, eyes animations, blink, and then jaw open jaw left and right now my Wi-Fi is probably a bit lagging but it's gonna catch up and we don't actually need to see this it, I think if I hide the layout it's gonna be faster 
and then, yeah everything is being taken care by this single route and then we have the transform for the head is also it's being um, the address of the OSC is called HD and then is there's that's the XYZ of the location so I can move back and forth there's this uh, rotation quaternion controlling the head rotations and then there's this uh, I I aim left and right that's actually connected to the empty inside blender here um, maybe I'm I'm not hundred percent sure with this but it's actually yeah it's the eye tracking based on the on the iPhone or on the iPad so if I hide this if I hide everything in fact um, I think control spacebar yeah control spacebar actually like maximize the screen and everything will be a lot faster now if I'm doing it this way and if I hide uh, this what is it called hide the overlays so yeah it's supposed to work like this if you are imagine if you're like a DJ in a club and you want to perform this in real time you can actually do this in in the dark right so I think it's really cool um, you can go back to previous control in blender there's a hotkey that's really dangerous actually it's control option spacebar it hides everything really eh? imagine you're a DJ in, in a club and you're kind of like DJing and you have your face in real time like that it's gonna be <laughs> super cool um, yeah what else I want to talk about so yeah we are sending signal from the iPhone or the iPad into the blender and it's all real time I didn't I didn't lie uh, because we can change to matcap change the head into you know any material that you like that works in real time you can also actually play around with EV um, EV could be I think could work but might be a bit slow let me try so now it's rendering using EV performance is a bit laggy and I don't have any light let me just bring in the sunlight so this is EV let me go to full screen mm, yeah so there's a lag with EV there's a lag my, my MacBook is a bit slow or maybe we need some kind of GPU oh well let's wait until this thing catch up test testing okay now it's catching up we are back to where we have where, uh, where we have before so this thing is real time but if you want to kind of record it and everything it's a uh, it's actually possible as well um, I believe you might need to turn this on and then from the MIDI or OSC also you can you can turn on the so there's a receive and there's actually record button here and I think if you hit record here and then turn on all, all the records and then playback it, it's gonna record the whole performance but that's gonna be less important in this case if you really want to do something funny um, let me just hide everything again imagine um, we don't have cursor here let me create Suzanne for example Suzanne head look look at this we have real-time shadow and everything and I can I can move my head like that and I'm kind of eating Suzanne head that's really weird that's really weird but see like I don't have access to VR stuff at the moment can't afford it but uh uh, I think this is kind of like a nice preview if you you have MacBook Pro you have blender if you happen to have access to iPhone or iPad this this is kind of giving you um, kind of like a virtual environment so yeah like I said if you if you're teaching CG in virtual environment with AR and everything is in real time 
it's going to be really immersive. Um, even if they have no interest in 3D, imagine if you're if you're building something in 3D like that. Create a cube, and then uh, make make this uh, subdivide the cube. See, that's control two, control three, subdivide. Smooth this using right mouse button. Shade smooth. Now this thing is smooth. Um, can we go to sculpt mode? Yeah, we can even sculpt this in real time. Oh, wait a minute. Um, and T. Let me go out of this full screen. And select our cube. Let me play around with this a bit more. Multi resolution, subdivide, subdivide, subdivide. Sculpt mode. Yep, now it's sculpting in real time. Yep, let's go to this crazy mode. So we have this, this thing over here. I'm sculpting in real time with the head is actually still performing in real time. It's amazing. This is really fun. Um, oh yeah, by the way, with the face cap app, there's actually another app from the same developer for iPhone. It's, it can capture um, your face and kind of get the generic face, um, including the texture and, and blend shapes. That's actually really cool. Subdivide a few more. And now it's really high res. Now maybe things start into lagging. No, not really, still. Still real time, see? I can move my head and I can still sculpt this thing. Uh, yeah, look at this. I can see behind my head, my head and yeah, it's probably really weird at this point. I, don't, I can't even, I don't remember the hotkeys for this. Control option space bar. Go back to object mode. This sculpt should be maybe a little bit bigger. bit of lag yeah it's, it's like I can actually do my BS live or live noting this way so that if there is a head talking like this you kind of believe or you believe the tutorial more but yeah so this thing is lagging again but it's gonna catch up if I make this full screen Gonna, gonna tilt my head yeah the eyes everything is 